the guest list isn't firmed up, the date and location are still to be determined. But the government is billing a major international meeting it will host on the North Korea nuclear crisis as an essential, overdue step towards bringing key players together to brainstorm a non-military solution. As to what that solution might be nothing firm. Story continues below advertisement. The meeting will likely occur somewhere in Canada, sometime early next year. Foreign Affairs Minister Christia Freeland and U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, have been discussing plans for the meeting for months. But they chose to announce it late Tuesday after North Korea carried out its longest ever missile test. Freeland couldn't say what Canada's specific role would be but she said convening the meeting was an important step in terms of showing the unity of the international community in applying pressure on North Korea. Canada offers what amounts to a less stressful setting for the talks, a senior government official said Wednesday on the condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to speak publicly. It makes sense we could bring together people that may not necessarily feel that they would want to go to the United States, the source said adding that holding talks in Japan or South Korea is simply too close to the crisis. Tillerson saw the value in Canada taking the initiative forward, the source said. We have a lot of strong connections to countries in the region that could potentially be affected and are affected by this threat every day, said the official. Story continues below advertisement. Story continues below advertisement. Canada has a history in the region where it fought in the 195053 Korean War, but it is also a non-nuclear power. Freeland said her Chinese counterpart would be among the invitees. The meeting, which will be co-hosted by the United States, will potentially involve the foreign ministers of close to two dozen countries. China and Russia are permanent members of the United Nations Security Council, which held an emergency meeting about North Korea on Wednesday amid wider calls for more sanctions against the country. Canadian officials had no comment on whether Russia would be receiving an invitation. Moscow denounced the latest North Korean test as a provocation that would hurt the chances of finding a political solution. Canada has no diplomatic relations with North Korea, which has raised questions whether it has any meaningful contribution to make. Story continues below advertisement. We've not been seen as an interlocutor on North Korea, said David Mulroney, a former Canadian ambassador to China. One of the problems with diplomatic isolation is we tend to be a long way from understanding or having insights we can bring to the table. But he added, it is useful to remind people that we share values and security interests with the United States. Freeland isn't traveling with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to China next week so officials don't expect the North Korea summit to be a major topic of discussion. However, Freeland said she discussed the planned meeting in great detail with Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi at the recent APEC summit in Vietnam, and has been shopping it around to other key countries.